Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout podcast. I'm Jenny Sivy and today we're going to talk about sound power and NC. So a couple weeks ago we went over the basics of sound. One of the main points about sound was that you can't talk about decibels without talking about the frequency. We also covered the eight octave bands using HVAC and so we're going to use those concepts today. Most VAV terminal data is shown in sound power and NC. Let's start with sound power. Sound power is basically the raw sound data of the device, say a VAV terminal. Sound power data is given by octave band, and it may look something like this. So let's draw the eight octave bands. So now let's say in the first band we have 58 dB, the second band 52, third 43, fourth 36, fifth 31, sixth 28, 722 and 8th band 18. Let's plot this on a curve now. Let's draw our 8 octave bands and then up the side we'll put decibel in increments of 10 and then we'll plot this data. So when you connect the dots, it'll look like this. This is the particular sound curve for this box. In this case, this is probably a, a fan box. If you remember last time, fan boxes peak in the second and third bands, and you can see up here the, the highest decibel levels are in the low frequencies. The challenge with sound power is that it cannot be measured directly. When you put a microphone in a room or test chamber, you measure the sound pressure. The sound power has to be calculated from that sound pressure by using a known sound source called the reference sound source, or the RSS. The RSS is calibrated to a known sound power, say 80 dB in every band. Then when you take sound pressure readings in the sound room, you can calculate the difference between the known RSS data and the measured sound pressure, and then you know how to correct for test data you take later in that room. Sound power data are ideal for product comparisons because it's raw sound data from the product. But since it's eight different octave bands with eight different dB levels, it's not always the most convenient. So several single number rating systems have been developed. DBA is probably one of the most common single number rating systems. DBA is basically a weighted scale that gives less weight to the very high and very low frequencies. It's typically used for noise conservation and outdoor noise evaluation. Think things like noise ordinances for airports. Many inexpensive sound meters give DBA readings. For VAV terminals and diffusers, the rating system is noise criteria, or NC. Let me put up an NC graph. You don't have to look at my drawing here. I'll just pull an actual NC graph up. The NC lines are essentially lines of equal perceived loudness. Every point on the NC line sounds as loud as the other points on the line. You can see that the NC curves have high decibels and the low frequencies. If you recall from the Sound Basics podcast, low frequency sounds have to be louder for us to hear them. To determine the NC of a sound curve, you simply find the highest NC line that the sound curve touches. So let's look at the sound power from that fan box from earlier, and we'll plot the dB on each octave band on this NC curve. So in the first band, it was 58, the second 52, then 43, 36, 31, 28, 22, and 18. Now let's draw the line and you can see that the highest NC curve it hits is about NC35. Now I want to plot another sound curve. This time let's look at something that might be a diffuser. 29 in the first, 32 in the second, 35, 36, 35, 33, 30, and 28. Again, 
when you draw the line here, you can see that although it's a very different curve, it's about an NC35 also. This is most likely a diffuser, like I said, because you can see it peaks in the fourth band or so. Now these two NC curves look very different, but they're both about the same NC, about an NC35. But you can imagine that these two would sound very different. One would be a low pitch sound, one would be a higher pitch sound. So what an NC graph tells you is how loud the sound is, not necessarily what it'll sound like. So that's an overview of sound power in NC. We'll get more in depth in NC and catalog data in a future podcast. Thanks for taking a time out with us.